guys, welcome back to MTD CNC North America. It's good to have you back, and it's also good to be with my buddy Sal to talk a little bit more about this Kitamura My Center. Now, a lot of the Kitamuras I've talked about previously are pretty big sized machines, right? And they have, you know, tombstones, and you can switch them in and out, and that optimum running. But this one, what a small, incredible footprint it is. However, like I always say, I'm not the expert, but I bring the experts with me. So Sal, thank you so much for part, being a part of MTD. Thank you for having me. So let's talk about this My Center and how it really goes into the industry and where it fits best because this is a five axis machine, isn't it? it? Truly is. So this machine named Five Center Med, I'm sorry. This machine is a Med Center 5AX. With the true geometric accuracy, which is, which is something that Kitamura is known for, we offer a perfect, uh, uh, perfect accuracy, perfect parallelism. Machine is super fast, but one thing that is really interesting about this machine is its footprint. Four foot wide, it has 42 magazine, which we can expand to 120 tools. We can expand uh, or add a 12 pallet pool magazine. We can expand that to 24 pallets. So, for people that are suffering, as a lot of companies now uh, with the lack of people, having unmanned machining, having lights out operation is an ideal solution for current machine shop. We're all trying to get into that lights out machining, right? We're all trying to do the best we can to, uh, I would say, complement the skills gap that's going on right now. Doing the best we can to get through it, right? Because we're doing automation. You mentioned a whole bunch of tools. You mentioned five axis. You mentioned the footprint. You mentioned the pallet chain system that can go into it. However, when I look at the size, you know what I want to ask you, Sal, is how's the rigidity? What's the materials I can cut in here? What's that like on a machine this size? So one thing about this machine is, uh, is really a lot that comes in that small little package. So first thing that we have to understand is on a small machine, the rigidity should come from the speed of the spindle, right? How the machine is built, right? So we, that, that, this machine will have that. But the, uh, the materials that we can, basically entire, the whole array of materials you can, you can tackle with this machine. But the point is to utilize the high speed machine. This control has 1,680 blocks look ahead we can go up to 8,000 blocks like I had. So for five axis configuration, complex parts, this is an ideal machine for that type of work, those type of computers, customers. So with the med center uh, name, we think that it will be ideal for, for medical environment, right? But that's not necessarily the case. The, 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 this machine can tackle any type of a, of a job, any type of work, any type of a project. I'm glad you brought that up, Sal, because Oftentimes, a person will look at something that says med center like this and think, well, it's only for medical, right? That is Correct. 1 million percent not the case. It's a five axis machine that has all sorts of options with a small footprint. And you mentioned the rigidity comes from the speed, which makes sense to the audience out there who understands while I might have this one part and let's go with a harder material, instead of just roughing through it at a slow feed rate and maybe a deep depth of cut, we're chipping away at this thing very, very quickly, which actually ultimately will give us a faster cycle time and a better ROI on everything that's going on on our parts. Is this correct? Correct, right. And uh, ultimately, it all comes down to the material removal rate, right? Yes. So the more material you remove out of a part, you're, you're more profitable. So it's all about speed. It's all about faster feed rates. It's all about uh, you know getting that that unnecessary material out of your parts, right? So speaking of that, do you know the numbers that go along with the RPM speed and the feed rates that are capable on this med center? Right. So thirty thousand RPM. This machine has uh, about two thousand inches per minute for X and Y, right? Two hundred revolution on the rotating axis, hundred revolution on the tilting axis. So if you think about you know complex five axis parts, how quickly that machine transitions from all these positions, that's where the machine is really shining at. You guys are not playing around at Kitamura. No, that is not. significant right there. I love it. Is there anything else you'd like to add specifically about this machine that I haven't asked you about yet, Sal? So ultimately, uh, footprint, uh, you know, and. and of course, there's our control, right? Ease of use. For us to operate the control from a quick access uh, menu and using icons to navigate from different screens, simplify things, makes things easier and quicker for current operators. And you know, kids nowadays are used to the iPhones, right? They know how to shift and change applications. 
this is what Kitamura is trying to implement in the Pen 2. Well, Sal, this machine is amazing, the footprint, but you guys also have three axis machines. You have horizontals, you have verticals, everything that goes into this industry, you can support for a customer. So I know there's some people out there right now going, well, Sal's convinced me of this right here, right now, and I want to learn more. Where can they find you? What's your website? What's your socials? How can they look you up? What's your home address? Get people knocking on your window in the middle of the night. Not a cell phone number. <laughs> so Kiramura is located in uh, Wheeling, Illinois. We have been de there since mid 80s. Uh, one thing about Kiramura is uh, majority of our uh, facility is used for spare parts. This is how we retain customers. We, uh, we have about 70% of our business coming from returning customers, so which is important to us. Providing customers with a, with a su superb uh, you know, support, parts whenever necessary, support is most important for us. So as far as machines, uh, yes, you mentioned three axes. We mentioned four axes, horizontals. Kitamura is known for rigidity, heavy durable machining, and reliable, reliable machines. And we generally rely on our distributors, which can offer local support to our, for, our, for, our, for our customers, but we also have our own phone support at 847-520-7755. And also customers can look at our website, which is kiramuramachinery.com. Well, Sal, normally at this point, I would close out the conversation, thank everyone for being here, but now you've got me excited and I want to talk some more, if that's okay with you, just a little bit more for you folks out there. And that's about a customer that I went into recently that had their Kitamura machine. It was one of the larger machines and they were using that machine to make sure their other machines were precise. They were machining something on the Kitamura machine that said, you know what, this is the gauge to know whether the other machines, so that's a testimonial to how precise these machines can be. We've talked about rigidity, obviously flexibility with all the tunes, with all the uh, palette change that goes with it, the amount of options of tools, so I had to throw that out there, but I know ex you know exactly what customer I'm talking about when it comes to that. Yes, I do. So Kitamura is known for its accuracy. Uh, you know, I ran into this customer once who actually bought the uh, HX250, our smallest horizontal machine. And after machining the parts, customer realized that they have to get a better quality CMM because they were not able to measure the part to the accuracies that machine provided. So yes, super accurate, super durable and a reliable machine. Well, thank you all for sticking around for that last point. I thought it was significant to share. I hope you've enjoyed this story as much as I have from Sal. Sal, you are incredible. Thank you again for being a part of MTDCNC and sharing your time with our global audience and helping us learn a bit more about Kitamura as a whole. Thank you very much, Tony. It's a pleasure.